So someone had left a note in the comments asking how to hide different UI elements on different breakpoints using variables and modes. So today we're going to look at how to do just that. We're going to look at how to uh, hide and show an image based on the type of breakpoint that it's on. So here we can see if I drag this in to our desktop, the image shows. But if I drag it in to our mobile, the image is hidden. So it's a great lesson today. Again, if you have other suggestions for videos that you want to see, be sure to comment that below. Let's get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and prepped uh, our Figma board with just two uh, elements to start, one of which uh, is a container. So we just have some basic heading, subtitle, text, the input field, and also a button. So maybe this is something like an onboarding flow. Again, it doesn't really matter. And I also have uh, an image here. So let's now add our frames. So let's start off, let's say a MacBook Air, and then let's also say uh, an iPhone uh, 14, something like that. Again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I see our container set to 550. That's something that's good to note. And I'm actually just going to drag that uh, into our desktop frame along with the image as well. And I'm simply just going to reposition uh, the image just so it's to the right, looks a little bit more yeah, UI-like. So one thing I noticed right off the bat is that our uh, container is a little bit too long. And so what I'm going to do is actually set a local variable that will specify the width that this container will take on a desktop and also on a mobile. If you've taken any of our other videos by now, uh, this should look pretty familiar. So let's open up our local variables, collapse that, and let's set uh, a number variable for our container. And on the desktop, I want the width of this container to be 450. And let's say for mobile, let's say maybe 300. And we'll try that out. And now what I want to do is actually apply that variable width to this container. So I'm going to select the container, apply that variable width to 450, and I can see that that shrunk down uh, really nicely. And one thing as well is that we actually want to hide this image on our mobile device. Because again, we have a lot more space in our desktop than we do our mobile. And on our mobile, we just want uh, this to show and not the image itself. So to do that, I'm going to apply uh, a Boolean variable. So let's open up our, can, our local variables again, and let's create a Boolean. And we're gonna call this image. So one thing I notice here right off the bat is that our desktop is set to false, and so is our mobile. What this would be saying is that we don't want our Boolean, or our image, excuse me, to show on desktop or on mobile, but we want it to show it on desktop, but not the mobile. So I'm simply going to toggle that to true. Now I'm going to hide that, and I'm going to let Figma know that this image is related to that Boolean variable that we just set. So I'm gonna select that, click, or two finger tap, excuse me, I'm on a Mac, on the little eye, eye, eye icon. Again, I don't really think it's the best uh, user experience, but that's besides the point. And then select uh, our image Boolean variable. So now Figma knows that this is tied to that Boolean, and this is tied to the width uh, that we set earlier in our variable. Last thing we need to do is let Figma know that this is actually the desktop mode. So again, because if I open up uh, our variables, I say we have a desktop and a mobile mode. So I'm going to let Figma know that this is our desktop uh, mode. So desktop, there we go. I'm actually gonna move this over slightly. Let's then go ahead and pair these two items together. So I'm gonna go right click, uh, add our auto layouts, and then let's copy a version of that and drag that into our mobile. And you'll notice right away is that it's kept the same constraints of our desktop. And that's because we haven't let Figma know that this is actually uh, our mobile. So let's let Figma know that this is our mobile frame. There we go. And I can see that that adjusted accordingly. And if we look at our layers, I can see that the image is also hidden as well. Because again, we set our Boolean variable, which is the image, to false, which will hide it in our mobile frame. I hope that helps. This is just a friendly reminder to sign up for uicollective.co, where you'll get access to all of our design system training and more, including sweet free templates like this one, 
our token variables map. It's been downloaded thousands of times in the past couple of weeks, free to download. That link will be in the description. And you can also join the waitlist for our design system coming soon. You'll get access to 50 plus components and thousands and thousands of different variants. Uh, and you can join the waitlist for that. And that link will also be in the description as well. But this will be a paid template. Hope to see you online.